FileMaker has been around for a long time and FileMaker Incorporated updates their product frequently to take advantage of the latest technologies. One of the great claims to fame for FileMaker has always been its ease of use, its ability to create new records, its ability to find information, its ability to sort information. These are the kinds of things that have always made FileMaker famous. So I wanted to take a quick minute and show you how easy it is to create records, find records, and sort records. First off, we've opened FM Starting Point, and this is a database that has some sample data already in it. Across the top, we see we have the toolbar already visible. We can see that we already have 14 records. I can click the icon for a new record, and it creates a new record screen right here. I'm on record number 15. I can go backwards and see record number 14, and all the way back to record number one, which is where we started. But I can go all the way forward with my scroll control back to record number 15, which is that blank record we just created. I use a tab key to jump between fields, but I can also use my cursor with my mouse to move around. It's pretty straightforward. I can also create another new record. Now what's slick about FileMaker, I can go up to records and I can say duplicate record. Instead of creating a brand new record that's blank, it'll take the existing record and duplicate it. So now I've created a new record and it duplicated it. So record 17 is Sarah Smith, record 16 is Sarah Smith, but record 17 is going to be Paul Smith. These are two of my friends on the East Coast, Sarah Smith and Paul Smith. So if you have a record with lots of information and you don't want to type it all over again, you can duplicate it and just edit the changes. Now for my example of finds and sorts, I'm going to use a database with a much larger data set just to show you the power of FileMaker. This database is currently being hosted on a FileMaker server which means that multiple people across the United States can access this database at the same time from their Macs, from their Windows machines, even from their iPads and iPhones. And as you can see, I have almost 350,000 records. That's quite a few records. FileMaker can actually handle millions of records, but in this database I only have 350,000. So let's take a look at the database. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to find everyone in Colorado. So I'm going to go up to FileMaker and I'm going to say find. Click find. I can click down into the state and I can type Colorado. I can press the return key or I can say perform find right here. And instantaneously, that fast, FileMaker server across the internet did the search and returns over 7,000 records. I can press list view like this and I can start to see a list of all these people. I can grab my scroll control here and flip through these records. That's quite a few records. Now this is where sorting gets interesting. I can actually tell FileMaker to sort these. I can actually right click on a field and tell it to sort by ascending or descending by that field. It's pretty slick and FileMaker is going to work on sorting that group of records. It didn't sort 350,000. I'm only working with this stack of 7,050 records and it now has sorted it. So I go back into list view. I can see that I've sorted by first name. Now I could sort here in the list view, but I wanted to show you how I can click into a field and sort by right clicking into a field. Now the list view here in FM starting point is pretty slick. We've set it up so all you have to do is really click on the field header at the top and it'll sort for you automatically. Of course I can click over here on company and sort by company name. Now here the sort's going to take a little bit longer to perform so I get a dialog box showing me the sort. Keep in mind I can actually press the sort button right here on the toolbar. 
This actually brings up the dedicated sort records window right here. I can actually look at all the available fields over here on the left side and move them over here to the right side. So say I want to sort by first name or last name. I want to pick the fields that I want to sort by. So I'm going to go down here and I want to say sort by last name and sort by first name. Something simple. And I want to sort one field by ascending order, another field by descending order, that kind of thing. And then I want to sort. This is the full power sort window. Once again, I've sorted the records. And as I scroll through here, we continue to maintain our sort order. Up here at the top, you can see right here, is that the found set is still 7,050. But right here, the status next to it shows that we are in a sorted status. Now if we want to return to the original order that the database is in, which is the order in which the records are entered into the system, we unsort the system. We go to the sort window by pressing this and we say unsort. And now the records are in the order in which they were created. First record at the beginning to the last record, which is the newest record. Now a similar thing can be done with the found set. Our current found set is 7,050 records, but I can go to records here and I can say show all records. And our found set is going to go from 7,050 to the complete found set right here. So now the records are in the order in which they were created. So Kara right here is the very first record that was created in this database, all the way to the very last record which was created here. These records cannot be permanently reordered. They are permanently saved in this order. We can temporarily reorder them by using the sort command, but it is a temporary reordering. Now you can leave it on screen for as long as you want, but in the big scheme of things, FileMaker's default mode is to have the screen set in an unsorted fashion, as indicated right here. Now with a couple scripts that you can set up, you can have the screens sort automatically all the time. Just keep in mind that the sorting all the time might cause overhead on your database and it might slow your database down a little bit. You might get these dialog boxes that pop up all the time and it might cause a little bit of performance lag as the system is constantly sorting. As a performance tip, the ideal situation for sorting records is to sort records with smaller found sets of data. If you have a large set of records, say hundreds of thousands of records or millions of records, you want to isolate a found set of records like we did, say when we found Colorado where we only had 7,000 records, and then perform your operations to that smaller found set. FileMaker operates much faster when dealing with smaller found sets. Of course there's lots of cool neat tricks that you can do with finds and sorts and I encourage you to dig into these features and learn about all the cool things that you can do in terms of expanding your found sets, searching for multiple items with your found sets, as well as all these operators here. You can do searches for date ranges, you can do searches for empty fields, you can do all sorts of things. FileMaker is extremely powerful.